a force F equal to V cross A is exerted on a particle in relation to the force activity where V is the velocity of the particle and A is the position vector in the horizontal direction. With what minimum speed a particle of mass will be projected so that it continues to move undifferent with a constant horizontal. Suppose this is object, its weight is set in the downward direction. And uh, we assume that it is moving in upward direction. So F is acting in upward direction which is f equal to v cross a. So this is positive j cap, this negative j cap. So vector a is along i cap and the resultant should be j cap. So for this purpose, we can write this is i cap, this is j cap, this is k cap. So k cap cross I cap will get J cap. So it means velocity is acting along K cap, that is positive Z axis. So in magnitude, we write it VA equal to mg or V equal to mg upon A. So that's our answer. Now let's go to the next question. First question says, in a simple adverb field, two unequal markers. This is adverb machine. There are two masses. This is M1. And here, it is M2. Are connected by a string going over a plant light smoothly. In a typical arrangement, as shown in figure, M1 equal to 300 gram and M2 equal to 600 gram, the system will be released from rest. Find the distance traveled by the first clamp in the first two seconds. Find the tension in the string and find the force reflected by the clamp on the pulley. So, M1 is given as 0 0.3 kg. M2 is equal to 0 0.6 kg. Now, consider three body diagram of mass M1. So, here there is block M1, and tension is occurred. Its weight M1G is in downward direction, and it is moving with acceleration A in upward direction. It is moving with acceleration A in downward direction. So, acceleration is upward. So, we can write the equation. It will be T minus M1G equal to M1A or T equal to M1G plus M1A. Now we consider the motion of second block. For that purpose, we draw the three body diagram. Tension is upward. Its rate M2G is downward. And it is moving with acceleration A in downward direction. So we can say for M2, M2G minus tensor is equal to M2G. Now, in place of tensor, we can write this. So M2G minus M1G plus M1A equal to M2 A. Now we can put the values 0 0.6 into 10 minus 0 0.3 into 10 plus 0 0.3 A equal to 0 0.6 A. We can simplify here. This will become 6. This is 3. So it will become 3 and uh, this is 0.6a, this is 0.3a, it goes to RHS, so this will become 0.9a. From where we get a equal to 3 upon 0.9, so it will be 10 by 3 meter per second square. So this is acceleration. Now, we have to find out distance traveled in two seconds. So let's evaluate it. 
distance traveled in first few seconds, we can apply the formula S is equal to U T plus half A T square. So S is to be found starting from rest. So S is equal to zero plus half A. Exhalation we have got as 10 by three and time is two seconds, two square. So this will be equal to 6.67 meter. Now, we have to find out the tension. So for that, you can consider any equation. So say we consider first equation this one, T equal to M1 G plus A. M1 is 0 0.3 and G is 10. A is 10 by 3. Now we simplify. So we will get this will become 0 0.3 multiplied by 40 upon 3. So 1 by 10 and 10 is to 4 meter will be have. Now force on clamp. So here this is this is clamp. There is tension T here, there is tension in here. The total force will be 2 T. So F will be 2 T, that is 2 into 4. That is eight newton. Now let's consider next question. Consider the atwood machine of the previous problem. Same question. This mass is zero point three kg, and this mass is. 0.6 kg. Tension T, tension T. Now, question says the larger mass is stopped for a moment of two seconds after the system is set into motion. Find the time elapsed before the string is tight again. So we have to find out what is the velocity at T equal to two second. So I T equal to two second. We apply formula. V equal to U plus A T. It is starting from rest. So V equal to 0 plus A. We have calculated due to this problem 10 by 3 into 2. So this will be equal to V equal to 20 by 3 meter per second. Now, distance moved when its velocity becomes 0. Distance moved when its velocity becomes zero. So in that case, it will move, it moves under gravity. So acceleration will act in a downward direction. So we apply formula V equal to U minus EG. So final velocity becomes zero and initial velocity was 20 by 3 meter per second minus g is 10 into t so from here t will be equal to 2 by 3 second now let's see next question we are given here a block Uniform rod of length 30 centimeters, right? Mass of 3 kg. So this is 10 centimeter and this is 20 centimeter. The mass is uniformly distributed. So we can say mass of this portion will be 1 kg, mass of this portion will be 2 kg. And the string shown in the figure are pulled by a constant force of 20 newton and 32 newton. Here the situation is like this. This is pulling. This force is 32 newton and uh, here there is luckily and this force is 20 newton. Now net force on this block will be 12 newton towards the right. So net force equal to 12 newton towards right. So its acceleration will be A towards right. So acceleration A will be equal to by mass is 3 kg, so that is 4 meter per second square. Now, 
let's draw the figure again. This is one block, this is another block. Mm -hmm. And here there is tension T. This is moving with the exclamation A. And here there is a negative force of vertical motion. So consider the motion of first block. So for this purpose, we can say T minus 20 equal to one kg mass is moving. So we can say one into acceleration is four meter per second square. So tension will be 24 newton. And that is our answer. Thank you for watching.